Today we show you how you can create something like that. An object that changes color with the word position. So as you can see here, it turns from red to orange to yellow, blue, violet and pink. And now we create such a material. So first of all we need something like this here. A texture with just some colors on it. So in my case blue, pink, red, orange and yellow. Now do a right click onto it and then create a new material. Now in the material editor we have to add a component mask. So type in mask then add the component mask and connect it with the texture sample. Now in the component mask, disable the R channel and then up here type in divide and add the divide node which will connect with the mask. Now type in constant and add a constant vector and then type in object and then you just add an object position word. Now connect the object position with the A from the divide and the constant with the B from the divide. Now with the constant we can zoom into our texture. So for example when we leave it like that now, then we'll just see some colors on our object. But when we zoom in, then we will for example just see yellow and then we move the object just blue and so on. So for example when we type in 2000, then for example it will just zoom in like this here. So that you can just see the yellow part. But yeah, you can just play around with these settings. You can also put in a higher or a lower value but I will leave it at 2000 now. And that's it. Now it's finished. Let's just close this. Then add the object. Add the texture onto it. And as you can see here, now we can move it around and it changes the color. Now in the material you could also add another texture. So for example we could add a multiply here. Then we connect this texture sample with the A. And then for example we will just get our leaves here. Which will connect with B. And then everything will connect with base color. And then apply. And now, we, now you will see when it has compiled. That now even the, the leaves turn into another color. And you can also use that way of how you create the material in forest materials. So that the leaves look a little bit different from all the other leaves. So with that method you can get a pretty good forest which changes the color with the verb position. So for example that we have leaves that look a little bit greenish, a little bit red and so on. So I would recommend you to use this technique in forest scenes or something like that with grass or just in with vegetation. So thank you for watching and until next time.